soldering FPV for dummies. What do you do? What do you need? This is for dummies. You just started. I'm still a dummy. I've been into this for two years, but in two years I've built a lot of quads. There's just a few. There's a few more over there. I built a lot. I dove right in head first in quad building. This is uh, my latest one here. It's a uh, digital DJI. Very nice. Turned out well. So what do you need? You need solder. Go on Amazon. Uh, I'll put some links in the description. You need a lead tin solder. Don't use a no lead solder because it's got a higher melting point, doesn't flow as good, and just doesn't work very good. I've tried it. What else do you need? You need flux. Without flux, see this lead tin solder, it does have flux in it. You can solder without it, but it's very, very hard and it makes blobs. Make sure that it's uh, for electronics. Don't use the stuff that's for plumbing, all right? Um, probably could work, but I don't recommend it. This is optional, but if you do make a, a mess, you have this solder wick and push the, um, the soldering iron on top of this on the pad and it'll soak up and it'll clean your pad right up. So that's an option. It's a, called a solder wick, no clean solder wick. This is a really great idea. It's a lighted magnifying glass that bolts to your table right here. But yeah, it allows you to get right in there. You can see see all the pads nice and close. Highly recommend this, especially if you want to just check for any bridges between any pads or any little strands of wire that may bridge and ruin your build. Because if there's one little blob of solder, tiny little solder splatter, that could be it for your flight controller. And forgot to mention the most important part the soldering iron. Now this is just a cheap Amazon special. Nothing great about this. It's cheap. It's like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks in a kit with a little bit of solder and some tweezers. You can buy ceramic um, tweezers like this. It won't damage any electronics. So there's my soldering iron. I just fire it up as hot as it goes. This one heats up pretty quick. You can see it's been well used. I've got it taped and... So, this one goes up to 480 degrees, I believe. Yeah, 480 is the max. So we'll just give that a minute. So this is a pretty thin wire. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite thin. So what you do is, use your nail pinch it and just take a little bit that's actually almost too much you just take a tiny little bit of uh, the insulation off I don't know if you guys can see that very well you just take a tiny little bit of insulation off um, set that aside for a second well actually we, we can just do it right now I put a tiny little bit of uh, flux on it just like that take my solder which I've got one here it's already it's almost finished so we'll use this one <clears throat> take your soldering iron another thing you want to use is some steel wool or um, you want to use a, um, a sponge and just keep your tip nice and clean I don't know if you can see that Keep the tip clean, like so, and get your solder. Good to have a way to hold things. I've got some helping hands. That's always a good idea. But yeah, just uh, pre-tin. Pre-tin the wire, just like so. Clean your pad, uh, clean your soldering tip. So put a little bit of a uh, little bit of flux there. 
clean off your tip once more. I like to put a little solder on my tip like that and then just gently touch the pads need a little bit more solder just like that see that guys these pads are so tiny I just went over all of them but you see because there's flux it keeps the solder on the metal part of the pad this is a little bit more advanced soldering but all you need to do is hold the wire on the pad actually I'm gonna clean my I don't want to glob anymore on there so I'm just gonna clean that off and then all I'm gonna do is just touch it like so these are really tiny tiny pads guys like really tiny but if you use this magnifying glass you can see there is literally a hair width in between very hard to solder these ones see I can clean those ones up a little bit just by running the heat over it and then you got a nice little bead there very very tiny all right so say you're not doing crazy micro soldering like that because that's if you're if you're doing a build your chances are you're not soldering on pads that close um you're probably soldering on pads like this which is much much easier so let's take a look at this board again got conformal coating on it so I'm just gonna do a quick just gonna burn the conformal coating off here so anyways all you do is like I said take a little bit of flux put it on the pads let's try these pads over here clean the tip come back Heat your pad up a little bit. Now you don't want to keep the uh, heat on too long because it could lift the pad. Put a little more flux on there. It's always good. You're going to want to clean that flux off. Now you can put the wire on any way you like really. Depends on which way you want the wire. If you want the wire coming out the top here you can put it backwards so all you do I don't know if you can see it let me get my hand out of the way a bit just take your heat hold it to the pad like so and that's it it's on not the greatest but it's on there Let's try another pad. Let's try this pad here. There we go. So that's on. That's on. See that? It's pretty good. It's good and definitely good enough. It's shiny. The pads are not bridged. Now what you can do is you can take a little bit of uh, alcohol. And I don't have a Q-tip. If you don't have a Q-tip, you can use a little bit of uh, paper towel works as well with uh, tweezers. Hang on a sec. Let's get back here so you can see. Let's clean that up. Like so. There is conformal coating on this, so it looks a little, a little weird. But I can definitely see nothing's bridged. 
and you, you'll want to clean up a little bit more of this uh, flux because uh, you can see the red flux coming off because uh, that can potentially cause that can potentially cause a bridge a slight bridge so there you go guys that's on there you've got a good solid connection and that's it all right soldering for dummies it's very easy once you get to these kinds of pads it's like if you can do those tiny tiny little pads this stuff is just like a breeze it's just an absolute breeze i'll just show you here how easy easy peasy it is to pre-tin one of these pads just take this one right here put a little bit of flux like so take your solder and hold a little bit of heat to it it's like so might want to wait a second and that's it you get a nice nice pre-tinned pad see that I don't know if you can see that right there simple and then your wire just goes right on top easy peasy it's like so I'm doing mine on the back in between the flight controller and ESC and that's it just make sure nothing is touching the fats all right guys hope you enjoyed this just a simple very very simple soldering for dummies your basic just to reiterate your basic tools your soldering iron as long as it goes to about 480 flux solder wick um, tweezers and uh, what else I think that's it oh your light don't absolutely need this but trust me it helps once you're finished soldering you can get right in there to make sure you don't have any bridges all right guys so that's it for now i knocked my quad over um hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe soldering for dummies i'm gonna do a few more fpv for dummies videos but uh that's it guys have fun don't fry any flight controllers or escs unless you're sending it. All right. See you on the next one, guys. Bye for now.